Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at the concept of morphing between sounds in Pro Tools. Now what exactly is morphing? You may have experienced this in the visual domain whereby one image transitions into another image. In the example as you can see, one image is smoothly and seamlessly transitioning into the other image. Clearly this is not the same as fading out one picture and fading in the other picture. Now how can we do something like this with sound? Native Instruments implements the idea of sound morphing in a lot of their products, like the Core Player. The Core Player has a morph pad which houses 8 presets, and as you can see by just clicking and dragging on the morph pad, the sound is transitioning from one state to another. The knobs on the left show what parameters are being transitioned. Another very popular synth by NI called FM8 is the same via an XY pad. There are only four presets and the clicking and dragging on the XY pad morphs between the four presets. Now I'm going to show you how to do something similar with any plugin within Pro Tools. I have a speech sample loaded on a track and I'm going to demonstrate this idea of morphing on an audio plugin. Let's use the AIR flanger. The idea is quite simple. We just need to change all the parameters on this plugin gradually over a specific period of time. So you can think of this as automation, only automating from one preset to another. This could be quite straightforward if there were just one parameter to deal with, but as you can see, we have quite a few parameters, and depending on the plugin, there might even be more, which could get quite tedious. But with my technique, this is going to be a cakewalk. So the first step is to enable automation for all the parameters on this plugin. You can do that by holding down Control Option Command and clicking on the Plugin Automation Control button. As you can see, all the parameters have been enabled for automation. And the next step is to enable Allow Latch, Prime and Stop from the Pro Tools preferences under Mixing. And just make sure that Allow Latch, Prime and Stop is checked. Now what that does is it primes your automation as soon as you touch it. So if I just touch one of these knobs, you can see the background of the automation window turned red. That means it's ready for you to enable automation for all these parameters as soon as you hit the play bar. And I'm just going to hit the play bar once for a short while. What that will do is it'll write in the state of all the parameters of the plugins that I've touched into the timeline for that brief they moment. They seek to impose an ex And that's all we need for now. Now let's go back to read mode. And now I'm going to make a selection within the region. And within that selection, I want the plugin parameters to morph. And that endpoint is going to represent the new state. So now let's change these parameters, increase the depth, increase the rate, uh, maybe increase the feedback and the mix as well. And maybe change the waveform to somewhere between triangle and sign and increase a little bit of pre-delay. Now, go to the Edit menu, go to Automation, and choose Glide to All Enabled. And that's it. They seek to impose As you can see and hear, the plugin parameters are slowly transitioning from the first state they seek to, to the second state. And expand an empire of oppression. They now let's transition it further into another state. So from this point, maybe till the end of the region, I'm going to now transition to, let's just use a preset this time. Now all I have to do is go to the edit menu, go to automation, and click on glide to all enabled. In which a tiny group of brutal, self-appointed rulers control every aspect of every And as you can hear, life. the parameters are gliding into the new preset. Let's hear the whole thing from the top. They seek to impose and expand an empire of oppression. In which a tiny group of brutal, self-appointed rulers control every aspect of every life. Let's try this with another plugin. This time I'm going to choose the AIR Distortion plugin. So first step is to enable automation for all these parameters. And then going to latch mode. Setting up the initial state. I'm going to choose a slightly less distorted sound and morph into a more distorted sound. And let's just 
move all the parameters so everything moves. Just hit play for a short while to write that in for a brief moment. They seek to impose and go back to read mode. Make a selection. The endpoint of that selection is where my new settings are going to take effect. I'm going to choose a preset this time. And then go to Edit, Automation, and Glide to All Enabled. Let's hear that. They seek to impose and expand an empire of oppression. There you go. They now let's do it to the end of the region. This time I'm going to select a preset again. Something a bit more different. Okay. Edit menu. Automation. Glide to all enabled. In which a tiny group of brutal self-appointed rulers control every aspect of every life. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do this with a third-party plugin and show you how fast the whole process could be. I'm going to load in a plugin. I'm going to load in a McDSP filter plugin. It's called the FilterBank P6. Enable automation for all parameters. Go to latch mode. I'm going to choose a preset for the initial state. So I'm going to choose this first preset here. Write it in they for a brief moment. Go back to read mode. Make a selection. Choose another preset. Go to Edit, Automation, Glide to All Enabled. They seek to impose and expand an empire of oppression. Let's do it to the end of this region as well. Make a selection. Choose another preset. Go to Edit, Automation, and Glide to All Enabled. In which a tiny group of brutal self-appointed rulers control every aspect of every life. Now let's hear the whole thing from the beginning. They seek to impose and expand an empire of oppression. In which a tiny group of brutal self-appointed rulers control every aspect of every life. And there you have it. Morphing in Pro Tools.